Terry Kessler Schwartz, a teaching artist. Welcome to Art Westchester's virtual art workshops. Today we're going to be making paper beads to create a finished necklace. And the materials that we're going to be needing are a pair of good sharp scissors, a 12 inch ruler, some kind of tape, and either a glue stick or uh, white glue. We, we will need some kind of a gloss, so you can use white glue or some kind of gloss medium to put on the finished beads. Also, in order to make the beads, we need some kind of paper, and I use magazine pages ripped out of magazine or copy paper, different colors. I like to use eight and a half by 11 so you can get as many beads from one sheet as you can or even an old calendar page. The other materials that we need are something to roll the cut paper out of once we cut the shapes and I use a number three knitting needle. You can use a crochet hook, fairly thin, or you can use a skewer, wooden bamboo skewer that you can get in the supermarket. And you can even use toothpicks, a little bit more difficult with the toothpicks. And then you need some kind of thin marker or a pencil. And for a drying rack, you can use a bowl, or you can use a piece of cardboard, styrofoam or aluminum foil. And for when we start putting the beads on, uh, we need some kind of cording, either stretchy plastic or leather, leather that I just showed you, or colored cording, anything that's fun. A plate to put your beads on, a piece of wax paper so that nothing is messy, and also either a, a foam brush or a regular brush to put the gloss medium on. Okay, so let's get started. So I have ripped my page out. This is going to be the right side of the paper that we're gonna use, and this is the wrong side. We're gonna rule our lines to make our shapes, and we're making large triangle shapes. And I'm gonna start with the straight edge, not the ragged edge. I'm gonna start from the left side. And our beads are going to be one and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna go on the bottom and measure one and a half, three, four and a half, six, and seven and a half. And then I'm going to turn the paper around and I'm going to go in from the right lower corner and I'm going to measure in since the bead is one and a half inches wide it's going to be half of that so I'm going to measure three quarters in three quarters and I'm going to go after that one and a half inches make our marks on the bottom and once you've got all that lined up we can start making the triangles. And we're gonna take the ruler, the 12 inch ruler, and from the top of that one mark to the bottom here, three quarters, we're gonna make a line. And then we're gonna shift the ruler over from that top to the bottom mark here, which is one and a half inches from this mark. And we're gonna do another line then we're going to go over here, shift the ruler over up here from the upper left here all the way down to that. And you can see that we've got very long triangles happening. And we're just going to finish this. Keep on going until you finish. Just keep on going across the page until you finish shifting as you go. 
we're going to take our scissors and we're going to start cutting. And the first shape that I'm cutting out is going to be discarded and you can just cut right along those lines. So this we're just throwing out and th these are going to be the shapes that we're going to roll up to make our beads. Okay, I'm going to just cut a couple out. Okay, so here we have enough for two beads. <clears throat> and if you want, you can make, here's a, a really pretty piece of pattern paper I had. You can make another set of beads. If you want to make it a little smaller or bigger, it's up to you. But um, I'm going to make a two inch bead. So I do that measuring, remember, the two inches on the wrong side of the paper, turn it around, and half of two inches is an inch. So just start in one inch, and then you can measure two inches. And then it would just be the same technique. So you see the bottom is a little bit bigger. And there's and there's your your B. Okay, so that's a larger one. So we're gonna now use one of these and grab the wax paper. You need a little piece of wax paper for your surface. And I'm gonna be using a glue stick. And we're gonna start about an inch on the wrong side, here's an inch, to put some glue on the triangle all the way down until the tip. Now, if you don't have a glue stick at home, you can use, with the brush, you can use some white glue and put that on. Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna use my knitting needle number three I have here and very very carefully I am going to roll the edge over and roll it start rolling start rolling and you have to hold it a little bit so that it goes so the edges go in and there we go there we go. So we're just going to do it. Now, sometimes I like to use a piece of tape, the bottom, and I'll just tape it to the table. So there's a little bit of tension here. And you're going to hold it about an inch or so away from your table with both hands, and you're pulling and rolling at the same time. Try to make it as even as you can. If it shifts over, you can just move it with your fingers a little bit. You know, with a little bit of practice, it's very easy. Okay, so there we go. Take the tape off and you have a finished bead. I take it off the knitting needle and I like to use these skewers and I can usually get two or three on, e on a skewer and I'm gonna put it over here on a bowl until I have at least two or three done. After that, I'm going to use a little glue. White glue, gloss, medium, whatever you have. And I'm going to put some on here. Okay. And you're going to let it dry 
for about an hour until it's not tacky anymore. If you don't have a skewer, you can use a toothpick and put them in a styrofoam or a cardboard or aluminum foil to stand up straight. I like to, after they're dry, I like to trim the beads a little bit on the edges. So I'll take my scissors and just cut the side off a little bit, just a touch to make it a little bit more even. And then I use a cloth. So whatever, you have a cloth or a towel at home. And we're gonna arrange some beads. Uh, I always like to use different contrasting. This is light and dark. So I'm going to make a symmetrical design. And to make a necklace, you really need to do it at least 24 inches long because we're not doing a clasp today. So it needs to go over your head. So you have to make it long enough. Okay, so I'm just showing you how I start from the center and then I go out to the sides and de design it that way. And I, I like to use different magazine or copy pages to have contrasting colors, light and dark. And I'm gonna be using this thread today. So I'm gonna be measuring it about 34 inches just to be sure. So this is 12, 24, yeah, about 34 inches. I'm going to cut it. And then you can use a piece of tape on the end. And you can start stringing it. And this will have at least 20 some odd beads here. And if you have any beads from broken necklaces that you would like to incorporate in this, it would look really nice. Here are some necklaces that I've made. Now these are big two inch beads, but they have some wooden beads added and you can see how interesting it looks with the additional beads. Here's another one. So this is very symmetrical, meaning I have blue and then green, pink, pink, and blue, blue beads. All right, so we're gonna start from the end and you're gonna start stringing until they're all done. Once you have your beads organized in the way that you want on the thread or the cord, you tie a double knot, make it tight, two knots, and then trim the thread and you're done. I wanted to show you this necklace that I made with paper beads and also beads from an, an old necklace that I had. It adds a lot of variety, I think, and color makes it nicer. So if you like this virtual art workshop, please visit artsw.org. Thank you.